Hey guys, I go by the name of Illuminous Eyes and I'm here to illuminate the motherfucking wise. And today we got a quick and random message and this one's gonna be for Leo. Leo, if your right hand is itching, you're going to get some money, honey, okay? I suggest you not to scratch it, but put it in your pocket, your purse, or close your fist. Uh, you close it so you can keep money in your hand, okay? Um, if, if your left hand is itching, you're gonna owe money, you're gonna lend money, or you're gonna lose it, okay? Yeah, I've seen the devil want to pop out in reverse. So yeah, so like, uh, I, I I guess like something's coming to you. It's a good news. You could have you could have been in some type of financial conflict, but I, I really feel like you're about to be relieved from that. Try not to overspend money for the next couple of days, okay? You could be um, I heard dispute. So you could be filing a claims, okay, to get back some money. You're going to get your money back, okay? <clears throat> I'm also I'm also hearing um. You're, you're like, I guess your bank protects you or whatever, whatever this dispute is, you're protected by them. Okay. Leo, you could be having your back against the corner dealing with a cancer or a Libra. I feel like someone here um, is trying to challenge you or challenge your perspective or someone, someone here is going to do, do you wrong. Okay. So make sure you, you hold your own. You could be dealing with a, a Libra or a Cancer. They're very, um, what is the word? Like um, possessive over you. This could be you, Leo, being very possessive. If this is you that's being possessive over a Cancer or a Libra, you have to stop before you lose them, before they break up with you. Because I really feel like this person doesn't like that. If you are a person that focuses on complete negative energy, you definitely will lose this Libra or this Cancer. But it looks more like a Libra because I feel like the Libra doesn't have time for negative energy, Leo. They have overcome a whole lot of um, ups and downs and depression and pain. So they're not going to put themselves through that. Now, this could be you, Leo. You refuse to put yourself through the ups and downs with people because you have overcome a lot, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, a lot of loss. I see you saying, I forgive myself, Leo. I forgive you for putting everything that you've been through. I forgive you for hurting yourself. I forgive you for these life lessons. I just hear you talking to yourself. So this is going to help you release some pain, but it may not help you all the way because I do see you still holding on to some type of, um, suffering from the past with the death card in reverse you haven't fully um you haven't fully healed yourself but you're you're it's a process for you you're you're, you're trying some of you guys are just dealing with a lot of um nine of pentacles in reverse a lack of confidence okay but that is going to that is going to subside this could have been a, a, um, a karmic connection that you were in with someone that made you feel like this. I'm going to be very honest with you. If some of you guys um, had a miscarriage or breakup, If you expected something to go in a specific way and it doesn't, that is for your protection. It's like God doesn't want you. To, it's like you're not seeing the bigger picture. So God is going to step in protecting you. They say, I'm not calling you a fool, but they say God protects fools and babies. So maybe you're just innocent, a little bit naive unrealistic a little bit you could be double leo leo sun leo moon you could be um leo sun libra moon you're constantly going back and forth with yourself shit if you have libra on um, libra moon you're you're all you're always looking for perfection but i feel like a lot of things happen to you for your protection So you may feel like something is unfair, but it's not, it's not. 
it literally is for you to be protecting protected in this world because i really feel like you're so i'm gonna just use the words innocent If you were in a situation where you have been battling depression, I see you getting over that or are you coming out of deep depression. Some of you guys kind of struggle with doing things on your own. I feel like some of you guys are not comfortable with being on your own. That's part of the life lesson, knowing when to... Stand for yourself. Sage, relax. Knowing when, to, knowing when to stand up for yourself, knowing when to walk away, and knowing when enough is enough. You also have to be a, held, held accountable for your own actions. When you don't see the red flags in front of you, Leo, you will always suffer the consequences. Maybe you do see them, or maybe you just ignore them. But there's always consequences for ignoring the red flags. And the lesson here is confidence. Knowing what path you need to take. Stop hitting the same fucking walls that you keep running into. Stop having the same patterns. Stop thinking in negative. These are life lessons. You could have been dealing with another Leo, a Cancer, a Libra, or a Scorpio that really changed you. They tried to break you, but you're a Leo, so you're only going to crumble but so much. Because you still have that ego in you. That's what I got for you. <laughs>